So I was asked to solve for y in this equation here. We have 2x minus y equals 3, so we want to get y all by itself. So to get y by itself, let's first see if we can get rid of the 2x here. Because I could subtract 2x, negative 2x plus 2x, that would give me 0. But remember, this is algebra. I have to do it to this side as well. So I'm going to subtract 2x over here. So negative 2x plus 2x, that's 0. So right now we have negative y equals 3 minus 2x. So how do I get this negative y by itself? Let me write it again down here. If I multiplied this whole thing here by a negative, so say negative 1 times this here, that would end up with y, and y would be by itself. Over here, though, i got to multiply everything by negative 1. So I'm going to put parentheses around there. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and negative 2x multiplied by negative 1, that would be a positive 2x. We change that sign when we multiply two negatives. Now, it's probably a little bit better. We do have y by itself, but let's write it like this. y equals 2x minus 3. That's in slope-intercept form, so if we wanted to graph this, it would be a lot easier to work with. If you need to graph the equation here, 2x minus y equals 3, or y equals 2x minus 3, it's the same thing, there is a link at the end of this video. This is Dr. B, finding y in the equation 2x minus y equals 3. Thanks for watching.